What's going on YouTube? Today I want to share with you guys some of the accessories that you guys can easily get for the X4 and some of them would actually work for the X3 and the X2. But well, some of the accessories that you might not have even thought about, but yeah, something like this and more. Stay tuned. The first thing I want to show you is this thing called the horizontal mount. Hopefully you guys can see. This mount right here is actually what allows me to mount the camera like this. Now, why would you want to mount your camera like this opposed to the standard uh, vertical? Well, let me show you why. For one, it's much easier to actually hold the camera like this. The weight is more distributed. It's not top heavy. So if you want to do like something like a vlog or something like that, you're doing like a single lens mode or even 360 lens mode, you can easily just hold it like this, especially if you have a microphone on top of the camera and stuff like that. But the other main reason why you would want to have it like this is, let me show you. Let's say you have a chest mount like this and you want to put the camera. When you have the camera like this, it's a lot of front heavy. Whereas if you mount it this sideways, you can actually just have it like this. Now, the, the great thing is this thing right here, actually, the mount actually has this magnetic metal strip right here, metal part that actually folds down. So when this folds down, you can actually easily mount it to your chest. Now, just like that, you have an easier chest mount. Now, same thing goes for the head mount. Obviously, if I'm having a head mount, I'm probably not going to have a microphone and all that stuff. I personally feel like if you have it on your head, it's actually easier this way because of the, the weight distribution. This X4 is actually a little bit bigger than the X3. So when you're running or doing some kind of activity, the weight, you're going to feel the weight a lot more if it's more vertical. Whereas if it's horizontal like this, the weight is a little more distributed versus, you know, being vertical. Now, you might notice that this right here blocks the power button, right? Well, some of you may not know this. You can actually program this to turn on and off the camera just like this. And it can completely power it off or power it on. Just like that. So you don't actually need access to the power button. You can just use this right here. That's exactly what I did for mine. The next thing I want to talk about is the quick release, which is probably what I should have talked about first. Now, the use cases for this is, is a lot. You know, for me, especially when I'm on my bike, if I go to a store real quick, if I want to take the camera off, I would have to like keep turning and I'm just like dun 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 dun. Whereas with a quick release, I can just easily pop it up, put it in my pocket, and go to the store. And when I come back out, just put it back and I'm good to go, right? Another thing about this quick release is it actually has this metal part right here, which actually folds down and it's magnetic. You just put it on something like this. Once this part is mounted, now let's say you are doing an activity like last year I actually went to the Tough Mudder and I put a camera on my chest if I wanted to review the footage I have to fold it down and take it apart or something like that it was just a little bit of inconvenience but with this right here you can just quick re release it and put it back on there just like that it is on it and it's like I said it's magnetic and you can just put it up there and quickly take it off just like that you can imagine if you actually have the head mount and you have this quick release, you can just put it there, review your footage, uh, record what you want to record, take it off, review it, and put it back on there. So this quick mount is very, very, I feel like it's the most useful accessory that you can buy besides a selfie stick. This thing right here just makes using the camera so much easier. This is the back of the quick release. As you can see, if, to put on your selfie stick, you just put this in. And you're done. And then to put it on and off your camera, just, just like that. And it's pretty safe. Now, when you have this on it, it feels like a little bit of a wiggle, but trust me, it's not going anywhere. I've tried it and I wrote on my Segway to hold it and it works pretty well. You can hold your camera like you would typically hold your selfie stick, whatever. It's not going anywhere. It's metal. So yeah, that's a use case 
for this right here. The next thing I want to talk about is the microphone mount. Now, I actually talked about this in my last video of the X3. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out because I actually talk about a, a very cheap alternative microphone that you can use instead of all these expensive microphones like the DJI, the Rode Wireless, which is what I'm using right here, or the Comical Boom, which also is more expensive, but it sounds good. This mount allows you to put your microphones on it like this. You know, that way everything is on the side. And this microphone and this part right here does not show in the in the camera at all. It doesn't show in the 360 mode at all. This thing is very, very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. The next thing I want to talk about is this microphone adapter right here for the Insta360 X4. Now, the thing to know is that the one for the X3 does not work with the X4. It fits, it, it fits in the port, but you won't get audio. I don't know why Insta360 doesn't do, uh, doesn't make it compatible, but either way, this one is for the X4. What I did notice though, is that this one is actually more secure than the X3. Maybe that's the reason why they changed it, but either way, this is more, much more secure. You're gonna need these to have an external microphone on the X360. Now the X4 has a way you can actually use Bluetooth for a microphone. If you have a microphone like a DJI, which has built-in Bluetooth, you can use it with the camera, or you can also use like a AirPods or your Samsung Buds. Now the thing is when you're using Bluetooth microphones, there's a little bit of a lag because of Bluetooth. So I think that the microphones with the two, uh, 2.4 gigahertz are much more in tune, much more uh, synced up with the audio but that is an option so you can use bluetooth or you can use a more quality microphone as far as connection goes the next thing will be this lens cap i actually bought this for the x3 and it surprisingly fits into the x4 even though the x4 is a little bit thicker and longer this actually fits the thing is though it won't fit with the lens cap on it because it's just too tight it's just too tight so you're gonna need to buy uh, one for the X4, but if you haven't one for the X3 already, this will work. And if you're someone like me who doesn't want to buy a new one, you can just take the lens cap off whenever you want to uh, store it. And this right here allows me to actually, you know, have the lens protected instead of having to take all this off to put it back into the Porsche. This thing right here is nice. The bag is nice, but all this can't fit in the bag. So if I want to uh, protect the lens. I don't have to take everything off and put it in there. Whereas with this, I can just easily cover the lens and I can review my footage and things like that. The next thing I want to talk about is a bike mount. If you are a person that likes to ride motorcycles, electric bike, even regular bicycles and stuff like that, you need this right here. This is a game changer. This makes the the camera look like a drone because it a lot it can secure the camera's uh selfie stick to your to your bike and get all those crazy angles angles like the one i'm going to be showing you guys on my screen right now if you guys would like to see how to mount this on your motorcycle or bicycle or things like that and you want to know how to do it in a way that the camera would not fall off put a comment in the in the comment section if there's enough uh requests i'll make one for it so something else you need is a strap is a holding strap right let's say you are holding your selfie stick and you are riding or something or you are just walking by us anything and you accidentally drop the stick this strap would hold it in place that way it actually doesn't hit the ground so this is essential to have especially if you go to places like parks or rides or things like that if you actually go to some rides they will not allow you to hold something like this without a strap in your hands so this might be something else that you guys might want to consider the next thing i want to talk about is an extended selfie stick this is the regular selfie stick that comes with a package of your insta360 i actually got this one for free when i bought the uh, x3 the x4 doesn't come with one but you can order one and this is one that I bought off Amazon. This is a off brand, but it looks identical. Now look at the length, the difference. Now let me extend them out and show you guys exactly how it looks. So the regular selfie stick is about 
this is the length, this is the full length of the regular selfie stick right here. And then, now this is the length of the extended selfie stick. Just for comparison, look how much more you're getting. Look at how much more you're getting with the uh, extended selfie stick. And I'm gonna put the camera on and show you guys how much of a difference this really makes. So right now I have the camera attached to me via the regular selfie stick that Insta360 usually ship with. And now I'm gonna switch to the extended stick. That way you guys can see how much of a difference this makes. But before I actually switch, this is the top view. This is how I would typically hold the top view of the regular uh, selfie stick. This is how much of a difference the extended stick makes. Now, when the camera is, is, is extended forward, it feels heavier, especially since I got a microphone, the quick release and stuff like that. But as you can see, the view changes a lot. You know, it feels more like a drone now when I actually put it up. But yeah, this is the size difference between the extended stick and the regular stick. Now, because I have a microphone attached, it doesn't matter how far the stick is. And because they have the gesture now, it also doesn't matter if I want to record. I could just use my hand gestures and the microphone being so far away, you know, is great. This camera records in 8K and I know that a lot of you probably have a micro SD card laying around at home. The thing is, that card is probably not going to work. And if it does work, it's going to be very, very slow. You need something that is very fast, something like a V30, something that is designed for this kind of files. What I have is a 256 gig team group SD card. On the SD card, you don't want to cheap out too much. Uh, you don't have to pay the expense of a SanDisk, but you also don't want to cheap out because you don't want to risk losing your files. Now, I did a little bit of research and team group is actually pretty reliable, although their speeds is not quite what they claim, but it's still very fast enough to where I don't mind using this on my Insta360 X4. What I have right now is a 256 gig. Some people are getting the 500 and terabyte. What I would not recommend getting something that big because with 256 gigs, I can periodically dump it into my computer. Whereas if you have something like a terabyte or 500 gigs, because you have so much space, you're more likely to keep a whole lot of files on the SD card, what happens if the SD card becomes corrupted or if you lose the SD card, then you've lost a whole lot of files. So it's actually better to have something smaller. That way it prompts you. That way you are forced to actually dump your files onto your computer. If for some reason you end up losing that card, you still have the backup on your computer. So yeah, that's my recommendation. The next thing I'll recommend is a microphone. Now I'm speaking right now through Comica Boom XD. It's a microphone that I once reviewed on my channel, but that's what I have plugged in. What I'm also gonna do is switch over to a Rode wireless microphone, that way you guys can hear the difference versus the built-in microphone. Right now, I'm speaking via the Rode wireless microphone, which is actually my favorite microphone. But yeah, this is a sound test of the Rode wireless microphone on the Insta360 X4. I'm gonna compare it now to the built-in microphone, that way you guys can hear the difference. Now you're listening to the built-in microphone with the auto mode. The auto mode automatically uh, determines the noise in the environment and regulates the noise. That way you can have a better audio experience. But once again, it's fine for, you know, just an everyday life. But when it comes to like re recording things like a vlog or if you're on a motorcycle or bicycle or something moving, then in that case, you would want uh, an external microphone and like I said when you have that mic adapter none of the things uh, none of the microphone shows but anyways all the accessories that I talked about in this video are gonna be linked in the description if you want one of them use one of the, my links there are Amazon affiliate links it doesn't cost you anything extra but I would appreciate if you guys link the, uh, use the links because it does help my channel out if you have any questions at all in regards to all these accessories drop a comment in the comment section if you want to see a review of this camera from somebody who actually purchased the camera from not a sponsor video drop a comment in the comment section i'll get to it but yeah catch you guys in the next one take care peace